Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I film, um, you know, the equipment that I use, how I go about filming, you know, you know, for the things that I do, but you can also apply this to Let's Plays, which I do occasionally, you know, we'll do some gaming um, related footage of playing games and whatnot. A lot of times I'm doing, uh, you know, arcade stuff, uh, Raspberry Pi stuff and whatnot. But what I'm going to show you is, is pretty basic, um, fairly reasonable price-wise to get set up um, and get you off and running on how to film Let's Plays if you, that's something you want to be into. Um, and with the equipment that I'm using, you can use it for anything. You can use it on your PlayStation 4, Xbox One, your Nintendo Switch, uh, your you know, Raspberry Pi systems if you want to do some retro gaming stuff. Um, your PlayStation TV, uh, you name it, you know, you're going to be up and recording. So I'm going to show you guys the equipment I use um, and then go over how everything needs to be hooked up, the software that I use, um, where you can get everything. Um, basically what you'll need is to get something, um, where did I put it? You're going to need, the most important thing is going to be a capture card, obviously. Um, I use the, the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable. Um, basically, you're going to need that, or at least something similar, capture card. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain how to hook this one up. should be pretty similar to, to most other capture cards out there. Um, so you're going to need that. You're going to need whatever device, whatever system you're using. Right now, I'm just kind of screwing around the PS4. Um, you will need a microphone. Um, you can go through cheap options. Uh, you know, I film in my garage, so my audio is not always the best. Um, but if you're filming in a smaller room where you can control the acoustics pretty much, or you know, put foam on your walls and whatnot, you can have some really awesome sound with cheaper microphones. I do use um, the Blue Yeti. Um, don't have it in camera, but there you go. I use this guy, which is really good. You can get them for on Amazon for close to a hundred bucks. Um, the different colors are going to be more pricey. This midnight blue one I spent maybe ten dollars more than what I would have got for a silver one or a, or a black one. But I wanted the blue one so I paid a couple bucks extra. No big deal. Um, and then the other option with blue that is really popular is the blue snowball. Um, and there's two versions of this. This is the, uh, the normal one and then there's the ice. Uh, the ice just doesn't have all the audio options on it, I suppose. Um, but the Blue Snowball, you get some damn good audio out of this. Uh, these typically anywhere between 40 to $70, depending on the version. And you get really good audio out of those. Um, I do have a pop filter on the microphone I'm using. Not 100% necessary, but it can help out um, with those those certain P sounds and whatnot. The pops. But... Uh, you know, there's a lot more stuff you could use. You could get a condenser, all sorts of stuff, but just to keep it as reasonable as possible and to put out decent quality videos, this is the stuff I use. Um, I'm not a professional. I figured out how to utilize this stuff um, in the software, and that's what we're gonna dive into. Um, so I'll go ahead and give you a tour real quick on my other camera of the items that I'm using, and then we'll dive into how to set everything up and how to utilize the software. Um, the only other thing you will need, which is back here, if you want to be seamlessly put into your, your video, is a green screen. And I do have a green screen on the wall back here. And there's tons of different options for that. Um, and we'll go over the cheapest to, to keep it reasonable. So there we go. We're going to dive in and come back. This is the, the setup that I got. These are the items that I use when I'm recording. So we've got our green screen. I got pretty much just stapled into the wall behind me, you know, pretty wide there, about uh, eight feet, a little more than eight feet, I want to say. Um, then I have my PC. You can use a PC or laptop. Um, I only use one. I'm not using both when I'm recording. I just use one, a laptop or a PC. Then I have my Logitech HD camera. Um, it's 1080p, the 920C version really good camera um, and then I also have some LED lights I don't use the professional ones but they work 
I have another Logitech camera just in case. My monitor, obviously. Um, another LED camera. And then our uh, Live Gamer Portable, my capture card. Now with this capture card, the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable, I'm going to have a few inputs and whatnot. Right here is our USB input we need to put into our computer in order for to record through the computer. And then we have our HDMI in and out. Our in is going to be for our console or system we're recording. Um, so your PlayStation, whatever you're using, you're putting the HDMI in there. And then you're going to have to use another HDMI out is going to your monitor, your TV. So you have to have two HDMIs. On the side here, you do have a slider that you can record. It's recording off of your PC or recording without a PC on a memory card. I don't use that option. I just use the record on PC. Um, your memory card goes in the side. Um, you do have some audio in and out if you were to do a little complicated thing. I don't do that. Just use the HDMI in and out um, and the USB to the computer. And that's about it. That's all that you really need to have plugged in um, to have this bad boy work. And um, as long as you have your two HDMIs in for your console or your system out to your TV or monitor and you have it plugged into your PC, you're good to go. You have your camera set up to capture yourself, um, your PC and your microphone, your microphone plugged into your PC, your green screen behind you, and you're pretty much set. That's it. So yeah, this is how we're gonna we're gonna use this. I'm gonna show you through the program how everything works in order to to record your let's plays and whatnot, um, and how to put yourself over your recordings. Uh, it's pretty simple and easy. OBS pretty nice program to use. So just go over it real quick. First thing you're going to want to do once you have this open up, you'll have nothing in there. There's a lot of little options to mess with. Um, if you're, you want to change, you know, the quality of, of the recordings and whatnot, definitely you go into settings and all that. Um, but we're not touching any of that stuff. We're just going over a basic tutorial to get yourself up and running. And this recording that I'm recording for this video, this is a, a, a fresh install. Um, nothing has been tweaked as far as settings um, go other than just the stuff that I've added for the scene. So when you first start, you're gonna wanna make sure you add a scene. Just name it whatever you want and click OK. I'm gonna cancel because I already have a scene set up. You, you don't do anything with that. You just make a scene and then you're gonna put your sources for that scene. So right now, my capture source device the first one is just me the recording off of my uh, Logitech camera um, and then the second one is the Avermedia the you know so that's recording my desktop and whatnot so what you're gonna want to do to add that is you you hit the plus and sources down here and you have a lot of options image slideshows all sorts of stuff you could add to your recording if you want to get fancy do some really nice professional looking stuff you can do a lot of stuff in here um, but we're just doing the basic which is mostly what I stick to occasionally I'll mess with some of these options but for the most part for let's play most time you just want your game plan and yourself on there um, and you can definitely use green screen or not we're gonna touch on how to get the green screen set up though but to get our capture card going we'll select video capture device so let's just set up another one it'll just ask us the name it you can name it if you have multiple items on there so you know what they're what they do or what they are so you don't get confused make sure make source visible is open or check mark you, you're going to click ok and then from here you'll pick your device whatever you have plugged into your computer if it's not showing up if your logitech camera your avermedia is not showing up then you have to check your drivers make sure it's installed and your computer recognized it i've used you know all this stuff on a uh, couple different computers one running on windows 10 uh, this one on windows 7 and i've had zero issues but if like i said if they don't show up that means your computer's not recognizing that device um, but from here for example our the background that i have you know that's capturing my desktop right now which typically would be your gameplay that you do you'd select your avermedia or whatever capture card you you have select that and then you just hit okay um, I'm going to cancel because we already have, you know, something set up. I don't want another device on there. So I'll click it and remove it. Now, that's the easy part, getting your gameplay, you know, put on the screen and recorded. To put yourself, 
you know, I have myself right here with my green screen background so it's transparent over top, um, you know, you're going to add another video capture device and choose your camera. Now when you originally do that, you're not going to have the chroma key set up. So it'll be your background. If you want to keep your background, cool. If not, and you want to green screen yourself, bam, make sure you got your green screen like I pointed out, post it up, um, and then you'll, you'll add down here where it says effects filters, that's where you'll add your, your, um, your chroma key. And you can do it with a color key too, but chroma key is really what's meant for the green screen. So you would select your, your chroma key. I'll just add another one just to show that I, that I added it. But um, go ahead and remove it. Doesn't need to be there. Um, but once you have it on here, then you're going to have these options. Key color type. Um, if you could use any color you want, but it makes sense to use green and just not wear any green clothing. Um, that's the best way to do it because if you use blue, like I'm wearing headphones right now. The reason I'm wearing headphones is so I could hear myself talk because when I have um, everything plugged to my computer, um, the audio, you know, I just want to make sure the audio is being recorded properly. So, you know, a lot of people you'll notice that do Let's Plays, they'll wear headphones and it's so they can hear themselves or hear the game. Um, it just depends on how you're utilizing and a lot of people use it so they can hear themselves that's what I'm using the headphones for right now just so I can hear myself make sure there's not too much uh, uh, you know background sounds going on um, but if I chose blue you know <laughs> you know I disappeared there and then you know now where the all this stuff that was blue that's green screen captured you know really blue screen so if I go back to the screen you know now you see the blue is going to be transparent so you don't want that you want to use green just because it it you know it, it works better and, you know some people like wearing green but you know I've got green glasses I just don't wear them in any videos because then I couldn't capture properly um, on occasion I'll be wearing like a green hat or not a green hat a hat with like a green underbill and I'll have to, you know, wear it backwards, you know, because I don't know where another hat's at at the moment. My hair's messed up and I just want to wear a hat. So you just got to be careful with the colors and reflections, glasses. I do it all the time. I'll have green, you know, off of my monitor reflecting into my glasses and then it, it'll have that transparency. It looks like you're, you know, you got no soul or something. Um, so you just want to be careful with that. So just getting back into it, stop rambling. We got to set the green. That's what I have on my wall is green. You want to make sure you're, you're, you know, I still have a few wrinkles in here. I've tried working them all out. But, uh, you know, as long as this thing's not texture, as long as there's not texture on it um, and a bunch of wrinkles, you should be fine. So even, you know, you could use curtains or, you know, a bed sheet if they're green, whatever. But now we'll want to use our slider, our similarity. There's only two sliders that are, you know, you really want to mess with you can mess with everything else to really get it perfect um, but our similarity that's where we're gonna get all the green off see if we go too far it starts taking away from me so you just want to find that sweet spot where you don't have all that static and that's gonna depend on your lighting too so if I turn off you know the the, the one light that I have on at the moment you know it still looks fine but it can change you know the 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 way the green screen is being captured so you got to pay attention to that if you just have everything pre-set up and then you use lighting or you move your lighting you know you're probably gonna have to go back in and adjust some stuff so you get your similarity to where it looks good and you don't have all that fuzziness or you know shading around the edges of you um, and then smoothness will help with that too so you know if you have smoothness all the way down you'll start seeing that you know uh, a little distortion around the edges and whatnot you can smooth that out a little bit get it to look more natural and then you're good to go click close now yourself is on there move your camera however you want get yourself in there typically um i'm when i'm playing a game or whatever i have my camera right in front of me and my green screen's behind me when i'm recording on my pc i kind of have to have it a weird angle so you just got to pay attention to that make sure uh everything's positioned properly you know how you want it um, but that's pretty much it for the basics of, of using this 
uh, using OBS, you know, if you're recording, it would say start recording right here. You click it, it would start recording. Click stop when you're done. Um, you can stream. If I click stream right now, it's just going to automatically start streaming what I'm talking about on YouTube, and I don't want that to happen, so I'm not going to click it. But you would set your streaming up in your settings um, from within YouTube. You, you would have to get a, a, a code as long as you're in good standing, which, you know, most people should be, uh, especially if you're just starting out. You can have a, a, a code that's you know, enables you to stream. Um, you would put that, that code into OBS and then anytime you click start streaming, you know, if you got little kids and they're just wandering by and this is up and they click start streaming, guess what? You're live right now. So be careful with that. Um, but now if you, you know, you click stop, you finished recording to find your recordings, just go to file and show recordings. Now it's going to show all your recordings here. Um, good stuff. Now the, the, the program that I use to edit, you know, if you don't need to edit or you don't want to edit, if you just recorded everything was perfect, you don't need to cut anything, you don't need to redo audio, um, bam, just take, you know, show recordings, find your recording, and bam, drag and drop it into YouTube, and you're good to go. Put your thumbnail up, everything's straight. If you needed to edit, you know, which sometimes I do, I use this program, uh, Filmora which you know is a pay program i believe it's you know maybe 50 60 bucks or so you can find it for free if you really look but i'm not you know i paid for it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put it out there if you're crafty enough you'll be able to get a free version of it um i did pay for it because i do like it you can get a free trial the free trial you don't want to use for any professional stuff um you don't want to use it to upload videos because it's going to have a watermark over it and it just doesn't look good but in here, you could cut your videos down. I'm not going to go over a big tutorial over using Filmora. See, I have all sorts of videos that I've added that I've, you know, I've gone through and edited. You know, occasionally I'll just get rid of stuff. But um, you put your videos in here, drag and drop them, start watching yourself, listening, see how things play out, cut things out. You know, you can trim them. You know, you click your little scissors, trim it, find the end spot, trim it, and then delete it. You know, you can detach audio and whatnot. Um, all sorts of cool stuff you can do in here. Once you have everything where you want it, like I have uh, um, like additional audio recorded down here. I have different videos that I've spliced in and edited, thrown into here. You know, once everything's done, you just click export. Um, let me see. It's kind of mess freezing right now, I guess. But if you click export, you know, you just save your file and then you're good to go. Everything's uh where it needs to be and then you know then you would get that file find target drag it to YouTube and you're good to go so that's pretty much it as far as the software I use um, those links I will put in the description uh, the OBS software right here obsproject.com filmora wondershare.net um, great program plenty of other you know video editing software out there for people um, I like this one you know it's a lot of people like this it's, you know a good video editor for Windows um, you know you, you don't have as you know you have plenty of options but this is a pretty good one that a lot of people use so with that I think we're done if you guys have any questions hit me up let's go ahead and wrap this up oh back into it I hope you guys um, appreciate the video try to go over everything as best as I can um, all the equipment that I use, I do have links in the description for. If you were to pick anything up through there, it does help out the channel. Helps me to continue to do some of the, the video series that I work on. Um, and I do appreciate it. If you guys like this, you know, make sure you're a subscriber if you so choose. Can't force anybody, but, you know, like the video, subscribe. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Appreciate it, guys. Catch y'all next time.